we are going to be learning how to draw floral wreaths and how to paint floral wreaths. And these are the kind of um, designs that can go on a greeting card, they can go on a wall hanging, you can put a quote inside with some nice hand lettering. You can really do all different kinds of things with these and they're very easy to make. So we will dive in right now, but if you have not already, please click the subscribe button and the ring bell button so you're notified of new tutorials. So I want to show you a few different ways to do these floral wreaths. The first one is with a pencil and a simple piece of paper. I'm using a Sharpie pen that I will link to um, in the description box and this kind of rounded leaf form is one of the easiest things you can possibly do. Um, you just go around the whole wreath, you turn the paper as you need to, and just this is a great way to um, start it off because it's a good basis for any other flowers that you want to add. There are many different ways to do this. You don't have to start out with a ring of leaves. You can start out with no ring and just fill it in with flowers. You can start out with several different circles and just add them in how you want. Um, it, the choice is all yours, but this is how I chose to do mine. Once I go around and fill in all the leaves once, I go back around putting in a different kind of plant. I chose next to do these little liney flowers and then I just keep going around and around the wreath adding different flowers. The more you add, the better it looks. You kind of can't do too much. So what I would say for this is when in doubt, keep going. If it doesn't look right, just keep adding things and maybe it will look right after you've put the next flower in or add some a different shape. If you've done lines, do circles. If you've done a lot of circular shapes, do a spiky shape or a leaf, um, and just keep adding to your wreath until you get the look that you want. Another technique that I wanted to show you um, is how to do one of these wreaths in watercolor. Um, so you can use any watercolors, it doesn't matter, these are just some ones that I had left over in my palette and just make kind of blobby shapes at first. You're When you use watercolors, you're going from light to dark because you can't really like undo the dark, but you need to get your lighter shades down first. Um, so fill those in and then come back in with darker colors and then you can come back again as many times as you want, adding more and more detail, spreading the paint out, um, I can link to some artists below who have really great watercolor flower tutorials. Um, and then I like to go back in sometimes and add colored pencil over top of the watercolor because that gives kind of a neat little mixed media effect. And if you want, you can even add in pen or um, like metallic pens on top of that. <laughs> 